Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today is a beautiful day in Phoenix, Arizona. And I wanted to make a quick video because for people who are, I know when I started, I went through several leak detectors, you know, different brands, and those things were never cheap. Okay, so we're talking about leak detection. You know, your system's low. Uh, one year, maybe you add a little bit. And then to top it off, and you come back the next year to do your, you know, your, your PM, preventive maintenance. And it's low again. Possibly now it's this time it's lower than the year before because you log the information, right? Which is what you should be doing. And <clears throat> some leaks are going to be super easy to find with leak detectors. Uh, you know, the machine will be going crazy as soon as you, you know, get it close to the general area. The leak detector will be making all kinds of noise, right? But sometimes you just get these really tough leaks that you cannot find. You can't find the leak, right? So what I like to do, and that's what this video is about, is when you're trying to have, when you have a bad leak, or sorry, when you have a leak that's really hard to find, I've already put in the channel how to inject dye into the system. That is my favorite way to look for a leak that's tough, that's a tough leak to find, okay? Yes, you are gonna have some that are just, you know, like I said, the, there's a pan or something and the oil's everywhere, all over the pan, or it's, you know, on the X, uh, the outdoor coil, sorry, and you got a leak all over the place in the outdoor coil. That's all easy, right? That's all easy to find sometimes. But I'm talking about those tough leaks. So I inject the dye, and then I come back, you know, a couple weeks later, sometimes, depending on how big the leak is, obviously, right? You come back a week later, or however long you want to do it, and then <clears throat> I already have a video again on how to inject the dye. I think I got a couple. But then you come back with this, you know, this uh, special UV light, and then you look for it. It's got to be a little bit darker. But here, you know, here you see that means there's no leak, right? And I found the leaks, and they're all right here because the leak or the dye comes up as a bright green. And we move over, there it is right there. See up here, no leak. And right there's the leak. So, this method is really foolproof. I haven't ran into a scenario where I did not find the leak after I injected the dye into the system. So, that's it. Just wanted to give you all a tip. If you're not doing that, I know when I started, I was spending a lot of money on different leak detectors. And they work decent, but they are not as good as this method, okay? So, the process is you, you know, inject the dye, top it off, let it run, and obviously all of this is um, going to be a little bit of a charge because the, the dye is not cheap. The dye is definitely not cheap. So it is something you need to charge, but it'll save you the time and it'll actually finally give you a foolproof diagnosis. So, all right, and then you go ahead and do your repair. All right, everyone. Well, thank you for watching. As always, like, subscribe, comment, and we will see you on the next one. Peace.